Hi, Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, and we're here at the Expo at the Blue Mix Garage Method uh, exhibit. And we're happy to be joined by a prior DevOps.com uh, interviewee, interviewer, whatever, Rachel Reinitz, <laughs> a CTO of the DevOps Blue Mix Garage. Rachel, welcome. Thank you. Um, so, Rachel, this is, this is pretty damn cool. It's <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. And I, I would imagine there has to be a lot of pride in your heart looking at this from where you were, what was this announced, two years ago? Almost two years ago. And then you guys were at uh, Interconnect we're, last we're, year. Right. At Interconnect last year and announced at Impact the year before. Yes. And at Interconnect last year, you didn't have anything. No. Quite we like had, this. you know, we were part of the, the Blue Mix booth. And so we had like a little, little pedestal station. with a garage. We're talking to people, people are coming up. Nothing like this. We are the most visited uh, expo uh, area section. section in the entire expo. That is Non-stop. pretty cool. My guys, they've been working really hard. And we can tell your guys because they're the ones in the lab coats, right? That's right. Very cool. Yeah. And um, we'll, we'll get pan around a little bit, Rachel, Terrific. to show our viewers sort of what this looks like. But you know what? We picked a really cool kind of background. We did. And I'm not going to go through them all, but, you know, the idea here is there's someone named Judy who is using the Blue Mix Garage method to get her company up to startup innovation but enterprise scale speed, right? That's right. That's right. And working with us, both adopting the method, working with us in the Blue Mix garages. Mm -hmm. And she is um, an executive that's been tasked with becoming more innovative at a company called Grocery Co. Okay. And that's what we talk about in the method. If you go read the tracks in the method, it takes you through Judy's journey. And th we so have the accelerated why innovation Judy? partner. So it's pretty cool. So two of the executives of companies that we've worked with on innovation projects Projects happen to be named Judy, so okay. we brought that together. So uh, that's real persona matching, right? We, we, we thank God they weren't named Nimrod. <laughs> <laughs> we try to have some fun with the yes. naming of our personas. So, I, I see know. that, and you know what, though, uh, Rachel, the whole vibe of the place though is really kind of really cool, and I I think it goes hand in hand. Of course, you know I had come out to the uh, Galvanize, of course, uh, location in San Francisco yep. when you guys are around October. And, and that was really cool, right? Excellent uh, get-together. But, you know, just going over the motorcycle, which we'll, we'll turn around for, what, what significance is that other than just it's cool as heck? Well, you know, it, it's a little bit of that representation that we are a garage. So oh, okay. a garage should have a vehicle and a car was going to be that, too big. Yeah. And also, you know, motorcycles go fast. And, you know, well, you we had go, to pick a Harley, we, too, we though. Fast. That's pretty yeah. cool. Well, also, the our um, worldwide delivery manager is a big motorcycle fan. So uh, I think okay. he's the one who picked the Harley. I got gotcha. you. I so got gotcha. you. I don't think he gets to take it home. He tried for that, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Rachel, another thing that... Uh, you know, here at Interconnect this year that I think kind of has really moved the Blue Mix Garage method to the next level is that we're not just talking hypotheticals anymore. You're here with some real customers. Yes. Um, tell our audience, I, I know of at least two, who, who are they? So right after this, I'm uh, going off to see KS2, one of our partners that mm -hmm. has done an application around laying out your home. Okay. I've presented with Manual Life where we've done a iPhone application for monitoring a bunch of uh, cloud infrastructure they put in place. Did that one in four weeks in Fantastic. production. Uh, we have uh, Spigot, which is one of our great startups that's on the platform, moving a, a very large kind of workload computing onto Bluemix. We have Kimberly Clark talking about smarter bathrooms. Wow. Okay. Pretty cool. Very so cool. There's, there's a lot of different clients here. And then some of them that aren't talking publicly, I... It's wonderful. I hear how happy they are with Bluemix, how much innovation, 139 projects on Bluemix, on uh, Bluemix Dedicated Local we just set up a few months ago, and yep. projects they didn't even know about that they're wow. just hearing because people are We're getting in there and using it. it. Yep. That is fantastic. And you mentioned Bluemix Garage, and, and you're running already on local and, and, and enterprise yep. with, you know, in the cloud. So that, that's you know, kind of organic to Bluemix, if you will. 
the ability to go in the cloud and then have it managed That's right. locally so, as well. So Bloom, Bloomix as a platform, we have public, which is right. multi-tenant, get started right away, go try it out, sign up right now, mm -hmm. uh, 30 day free trial. We have dedicated, which is a cordoned off section in our soft layer data centers, single tenant Bloomix, secured, you know, on your own physical hardware, and then local behind your firewall, deploy it, we'll help manage it, and you go between them. Cool. So lots of customers that are doing dev test in the dedicated environment, deploying behind their firewall on-prem. And, that, and that is a real advantage. And the Bloomix. garage, working with them on DevOps, on innovation, and the method site, providing the digital guidance on how to adopt IBM Cloud. So Rachel, one more thing, and then I want to take a little yeah. tour. You know, one of the cool things that I think about when I think about Bluemix garage method is first of all your enthusiasm oh. <laughs> and I think that in like a, a team takes on the personality of its coach you know you could kind of feel that enthusiasm throughout the whole Bluemix garage method team and you guys have a lot of fun oh we do maybe we have some people out here who want to uh, hear or maybe they're thinking about either using Bluemix or they want to work here Give them a little bit of what kind of fun do you guys, what do you guys do for fun? <laughs> what do we do for fun? Uh, we work with clients on all we, kinds of projects. So we do, we have fun with our clients. Uh, one of our designers had so much fun with our clients in Australia. She got them to hop up and down like kangaroos on video. Really? For on us. video. So it's it's an example. But yeah, you know, I know, but that's we, pretty cool. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's fun in the everyday interaction. And we, and we do do happy hours and we do retrospectives so that we're always improving and figuring yeah. out how to have, you know, more fun. But most of all, it's in the everyday yeah, interaction and the truth trust that the team has in each other. So Rachel, to me though, that really kind of goes to that whole startup culture. So yes. you're talking to a startup guy from yeah. the dot com yeah. boom up, boom and bust. And that what we used to say back then is you work hard and you play hard. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's what made startups what they were. You just if you're not jazzed, excited about doing what yeah. you do, don't do it. Yeah. Right? Find another job. And you know, in as hard as you work, that's have some fun doing it because if it's not fun absolutely and again so i think that's part of what we do with blue mix garage method is bring sort of that startup mindset absolutely to the environment to the enterprises but recognizing they have to scale right that that's exactly right so yeah. it's, it's bringing the culture of innovation speed fun you know delivering quickly being close to the business that startups have and marrying that with the kind of scale that you need for the enterprise and adhering to security and dealing with the two speed IT and all those kinds of things and you can meld that together and that's what we and do in the garage and still have fun right absolutely Rachel what I'd like to do now is we're gonna so I have this old-fashioned microphone here. I feel like a rock star or Phil Donahue or you someone. You look really good. <laughs> Thank you. But um, I'm going to try to follow you without tripping over okay. the cable and look really bad. But I want to give our readers uh, or viewers a chance to kind of see what this looks like. And then we'll grab a seat over here and sit down. All right. Um, just before I go, if I could ask some of our folks to clear out this area right here so we can pan around to, our, to the right, to the left... My right, the other left, yes. This way? Yes, we're going to go okay. this way, Rachel. Just kind of moving around here. So we come here, and we have Judy's Journey. Right. We have now displays. We... We're doing some special presentations for folks. We have our team. We have Rick. Yeah, can we grab really on this, Rick? Come on in here. designing this. Hi, Rick. He's our lead, design lead in Toronto. Oh, that's great. Rick, what do we have here? This is Judy's Journey. Oh, this you got to do this. You got to right, talk to the mic. All right. Uh, so this is the Judy's Journey. So this is... a. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, a sample customer that comes into to, to the garage, and we talk about how the garage helps uh, helps helps Judy succeed in s solving the business the business problem she has. And we we talk about following the uh, the garage method. And this is the method that we practice in the, the the garage that we believe maximizes the value you're going to get out out of use out of using Bluemix as a platform. And this is our method. We we run all of our customers through, and we believe the method will work for anyone trying to transform their organization to to a leverage cloud. Rick, one question for you. Are you having fun? Always having fun. Okay. And, <laughs> and Rick has contributed some of the articles into the method site, too. Excellent. Rick, nice meeting you, and, and thank you. And then, of course, we have the Harley. Well, I don't know if we could see oh, the Harley back here. There. We got yeah. this whole kind of cement, kind of blue mix garage method. Uh, 
We for, have meeting rooms so we can just go directly in with our clients on, and start, on the, on start the, doing uh, work. Absolutely. You know what, Rachel? Let's sit down here. Oh, we, you know, I'm going to let you sit on that end. All right. We're going to sit here. And who, who's with us now, Rachel? This is Sarah Plantenberg. She is the worldwide design leader for the garages. She's been doing it with me for a long time, since first project, really. Yes. It's and, yeah. been uh, maybe a year and a half. September uh, 2014, before we actually opened, we did our first project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, are you having fun? I am having a blast. Okay. I'm having, I'm sad that it's ending tomorrow. Well, not just at Interconnect. I mean at Blue Mix Garage Method. Oh, this is the best job I've had at IBM. I've been here 11 years. I'm thrilled. So what exactly do you do? Um, I help our enterprise clients understand how to transform their business to the cloud using design thinking principles and methods. And then we also help our startups and small to medium businesses understand their clients better and be much more targeted about how they resonate with their clients. And then we teach our developers how to understand why they're building what they're building. So, so many organizations, the developers end up just writing code and they've lost touch with the user and they don't know why they're writing that. So we bring it all together, we align the business and technology and then we deliver great stuff for our clients. That's fantastic. So Sarah, if we could share with our audience, you know, I've heard Rachel and others kind of refer to you as like a founder of, of the Blue Mix Garage. How does that make you feel? Big and important. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. If Sarah stands up, she's tall. <laughs> yeah. she's yes. Quite important as well. <laughs> very, very important. Much of our success. Now that we have both of you here, though, what do you see as the future of the Blue Mix Garage Method? What do you, what's coming I, down the road? I think it's, it's scale. So this year is about working with more clients. We talked about this a little bit before. With more clients, more content, more prescriptiveness and more and more great applications getting out there on Bluemix and happy clients. We're here talking next year, we'll have even more clients. Excellent. Sarah, what about you? Um, I think the, the method is going to help people understand how to identify gaps and close those gaps and be really targeted about where they spend their time and what method is best for them. Because the method, you can grow in the method. There are many different flavors and sizes and speeds in the method, and you might start out at one speed and decide it's time to move to the next. So I think growth. Yeah. Growth and scale. Excellent. Yeah. Guys, we're going to end this up, but before we do, one thing. We, I don't think we've told people how they can find out more information. Oh. Rachel, where can they go? So uh, you can go to the method site. So if you Google the Bluemix Garage method, you can go there, and also on the main page there is the link to the Bluemix Garage site. You can request a visit if you want to come and visit the garages. We're in physically, we're in San Francisco, where you've been, and I've invited you to yes. come visit I'll be, Toronto. Next week, I'm in San Francisco, oh, so terrific. I will try to pop terrific. up. And we have a new space, right? In yes, the same I know, the new Galvin. Uh, we're in Toronto, London, Nice. Uh, and we're, we're, we have a team in Melbourne, and we'll be moving in the space soon. And then we just announced three new ones with the blockchain team that will be in uh, uh, Tokyo, Singapore, and New York City. I love Singapore. I love New York's home. At, but yeah. um, I'll be in London in April, too, and we're doing an event there. Maybe we can have someone from Absolutely. Blue Mix Garage. I'll introduce you. We have, we have folks from Melbourne and London and Toronto here. We will we'll get them all going. Okay, this is Alan Schimmel from DevOps.com live at the expo floor with Rachel and Sarah, Blue Mix Garage Method, over and out. Bye. <laughs>